Hello viewers, today let's talk about um, a common problem that I found on the um, 2014 to 2019 Chevrolet Suburban, Tahoe, GMC, Silverado, you name it, Sierra, with the V8 engine. Um, this one came in with three specific code in it, right? But those codes won't go away. You can try to clear them, they will not go away. They will stay there. That's a hard fault, right? I'm gonna show you what I found, and I happened to Google um, those codes on on GM trucks and SUVs. It is a very common problem all across the internet, and people are having a hard time figuring it out. And I'm gonna show you what to look for if you have that problem. Okay? I'm gonna show you all the three codes: P twenty six twenty five, right? U zero zero seven four, P zero one eight B, one for the first one fuel pump flow performance in can bus problem, and the fuel pressure sensor. However, the vehicle won't have any drivability concern. I mean, some of them do. At least in my case, I didn't have any drivability concern. The car drive perfectly fine. I can drive this thing out of state for miles and miles and hours. No problem will happen. You don't have a fuel problem, and. I need to mention that I also have a, another a co-worker, technician, that have a suburban with the same problem, with the same exact code, and he's waiting for me to fix mine. <laughs> How do you give me an idea what's wrong with it? He's waiting for me to fix mine before he, he actually um, put the trigger on that one. I actually fixed uh, the one I'm working on right now. It's all done. So what to look for, the actual problem is, is your um your ecm can control your fuel pump control module now the fuel pump itself the fuel pump is its own module uh, i'm gonna show you also what the problem you will have your gas gauge won't work it will show you that the guy have no gas zero on e right but the thing is when you go on the data it actually tell you how much fuel you have in the tank that vehicle have at least half a tank. It actually tells me that um, the car have half a tank on the GDS, the skin tool. And the other thing you will want into is the ECM. Since the ECM can control the fuel pump driver module, it will actually default the fuel pump running on high pressure at all time. There is, and you also check your data for the fuel pressure desired fuel pressure will be 46 right and the actual fuel pressure will be a lot higher mine was running at 90 psi at some point 90 psi 80 psi it was averaging between those two that's not why right. the, the the fuel pump driver module default the fuel um the fuel pump to high speed and the ECA can control the fuel pump because it think that it can control it is not communicating with the fuel pump driver module why so um I, I do all my testing here is the uh, the diagram for the fuel pump driver module it's right there um i look for that that this wire here the b plus yeah it's a 30 in fuel from fuel 25 under the hood i got 12 volt here i got the ignition main relay 12 volt right i also have wake up signal the wake up signal is when uh, the BCM tell the fuel pump driver module to turn on, right? I got 12 volt going there. My ground is good, right? And I also did the it check, a resistance check, and voltage drop on that circuit here. This circuit is the CAN bus because. Um, you can't communicate directly with the fuel pump driver module. The only the only one that can talk to it is the fuel um, is the ECM. So the ECM itself, um, you need to do what network it use. It use the power bus expansion, power expansion bus, why right? to communicate with it. I check those two wires here from end to end, low resistance, why? Right? That's that's good. I check for corrosion. No corrosion at those that connector. Your X25 is on top of the 
driver's side um, shock, right? It's a small connector of 20 pin. I checked those two wires here, they're all good. So my thing is, I'm like, okay then, since I do all those testing, I can't get anything out of it. I didn't even bother go check those because the car had no problem really. I didn't check the fuel pump itself. The car had no drivability concern. I only focus on those here and the communications. That's all I focus on. And they could all come out good. So, okay, we, we, I, I decided um, to call tech assistance from GM. And they said that it is a known issue on those vehicles. Whenever you have all those three codes present, usually it means your, um, your ECM can't control the fuel pump driver module. Then you have to replace the ECM. That's all it ended up being. I just replaced the ECM on the car. And now it's working, no problem. And my fuel gauge is restored. Uh, I have no check engine light. I have the parking brake, the parking brake on to program the ECM. And um, and that's it, guys. I mean, if you want into that problem, another thing too, you need to pay attention. If you if you don't have um, the U0074, I'll go focus on the fuel pump driver module itself. Okay, it was whenever you have a U code, you need to address that first. That's a communication code. What module can communicate with each other? That's a problem. You need to focus on that. And the, there was a GM issue they brought in in 2019 for that. They said that a lost com if you have all three of those codes present, it may be found that the actual fuel pressure low side will be reading substantially higher than desired fuel pressure. And it will be because of a loss communication between the ECM and the fuel pump driver module. So um, adjust the communication code first and you'll go from there. All right, that's one thing I'll say too. Pay attention to this. That's the main code here. I wouldn't focus on those two, but I will pay attention to that one. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you the next one.